All right, what's going on, guys? Welcome back for another Vintage Cube on Magic Online. Mike B here. My name is Jeff. And uh, we got a Mox Emerald and a Soul Ring. Soul Ring's better. Is Soul Ring better than Mox Emerald? Oh, yeah. Is it really? Yeah. It taps for two. But it also costs one. That don't matter. Astro, that's actually pretty hilarious that you... Uh, that you follow me on Twitch and uh, you get a notification on your phone when I go live. That's actually amazing. I don't know what to take, though. I'm going to let you guys weigh in on this because uh, this is a heck of a pick right here. Which one of the one or zero mana producing artifacts is it going to be? Watch, we're going to wait too long and then I'm gonna, it's going to auto pick a selfless spirit and I'm going to cry. Don't do that. Do you think it's soaring? I do. I think it's the strongest card in cube. And it's colorless. It doesn't commit us to green. But it, Mox doesn't commit us to green, really. Nah, that don't matter. Well, we did it, boys. Do we just go Azorius Signet? Then we can go turn one Mox soaring. Or uh, we can go land soaring Azorius Signet. It's pretty good. There's also an Ugin and a sword. Both of those are pretty good. I like Ugin with a Soul Ring. That's pretty good. I think that's probably better. Big Ugs. Yeah, we can probably get other Signets. Maybe not. But... John Boy Vengeant. Good night, John Boy. What? We probably won't get another Signet. Signets are pretty high value. No, dude. We're probably not going to get another Ugin either. That's true. Yeah, think about that, nerd. Ooh, Prime Time? Prime time to take that, I think. Yeah. This ramps us right, right into eight. You're right. <coughs> Scarab God. <clears throat> well, that's a cutie. You just take Garuk here. Uh, his name is Garrick. Garrick. You can also take Carry Added. I've seen carry out a wheel. I've seen you wheel. Yeah, man. I'm always on a motorbike. Scarab God seems pretty good, right? Is it just not Scarab God? I don't think it's good enough to commit to two other colors. Uh, we'd be committing to Soul Tie colors? What right. problem is? Well, with our current build, it's quite a bit. Alright, I'm going to take the Garrick because I do think it's a good Garrick. It's a good boy. Oh, I don't hate birds here. Old birdie of paradise. Birdie. Birdie. There is also upheaval. This could be an upheaval deck. I mean, it's early enough to where we could commit to that, but... I think it's just bird. I feel like you have to have, like, a really, like, a bunch of artifact mana for upheaval to be good. Could also be Beast Within. Gets rid of everything. I like Beast Within a lot, actually. And one mana ramp creatures are not... Yeah, but any color, dude. All right, beast it in. You crazy? Really? Yeah. Do you not think it was beast within? No, I thought it was birds back. You're tearing me apart, time zones. Um, do feel free to follow me on YouTube, just because you can get the videos there. But what time works best for you? Let me know. So it's harder for Mike to stream earlier because he doesn't even get off work until 7 p.m. And it's 9.30 right now. So two and a half hours ago is usually when he gets off work. So at 1 a.m. for you. I guess it's just scavenging news. Um, could take burning as in ye. Really? Yeah, it's pretty powerful. Hmm. Although, keeping green is kind of cool. Yeah, I don't think it's good enough to to go into red. I don't hate Resto, though. Blinking a prime time. That's pretty good. I think Ooze is just better, though. Like, it does the thing you want to do in cube. It gets rid of graveyard stuff. It's a solid dude. It gains you some life. Whatever. None of these other cards are good enough, I think, to take over Scavenging Ooze. 
This pack is something. I like Liliana. I like Torrential Gear Hulk, but we don't have anything really to go with it except for the one beast within. Fiery Confluence is always very good. And now we should have taken the burning. Go to that green red. <laughs> wow, you, I think you're dying. Maybe. Kills just take elves, keep on color. I kind of like Liliana here. Returning a Primeval Titan from your graveyard to the battlefield is pretty good. <clears throat> it's not bad. And she's just a reanimation spell. I think we take Liliana. If you go to if you go to bed around one a.m., how are you still up at three thirty a.m.? Hmm, that's interesting. It's pretty late. There's also a skull clamp, which is probably the pick, right? Mm, yeah, skull clamp isn't good in our deck yet, but why not? We got creatures. Not that many, actually. These make creatures. Yeah, but not the tiny enough ones. I mean, they'll die eventually. I still think it's the pick. I don't hate a Savannah. Savannah. We can also just take Tassiger for if we are committed to black. I'm not sure we are, though. Have a good night, buddy. Sorry about the poor sleeping. Is it Tassiger? What do you think? What are you thinking here? I would just take the Savannah. Tassiger's pretty slow. I'm just not impressed with Tassiger. He's like a fine dude, but he's not a fantastic... He's a good dude, but he's not a great dude. Okay, that's all done. Now I can focus on drink number two. Oh, big tarms. Oh, sword? What? How did that table wow. insane to me? Okay, sure. We could also open like a... Oh, Kitchen Pinks is good. Yeah. We can also open a Stoneforge Mystic and we already have two artifacts to find. Two equipment to find. And a Savannah to go with it. Yeah. Everybody's, everything's coming up Millhouse. Have yourself a merry little Christmas. Don't tell me what to do. I'll have a miserable Christmas. Okay, I apologize. How about that? I, that's fine. I apologize. I clearly overstepped my boundaries. Yeah. Played Jitte today for the first time in cube. Oh my god, what fun. You are not wrong. Jitte is not a fair magic card. I bet your opponent wasn't having fun. I bet you had fun. Oh, wow. All right. Just get everything back. I We're literally getting everything back. Yeah. No one respects the green. Or the all artifacts, I guess. Are you doing okay? You moving yeah. your little mic? Yeah. Yeah. I imagine by the next time we'll stream, we stream, we'll have it. What? Nice. Oh, cool. I imagine by the next time we stream, we'll have a, I'll have a bigger desk, and you can just you can sit right next to me, like a friend. I'll never do that. Okay. Well, you can sit behind me then. Sit thirty feet away. What? Thirty feet. That's a lot. Yeah. I don't recommend that. In the burning table too. Hmm. Literally, okay. all right. Literally every card we consider well, came that back. That makes splashing black easier. <clears throat> You're right. So does bird and and Sylvan carry added as well. And primeval titan. We'd have no problem adding a, a second or a third color. So far. Ulamog the infinite euro 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 euro. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. So uh, Grave Dad. Yeah, Grave Dad's probably the pick, I think. We can have Double Titan. It's pretty good. I think it's Grave Dad. Card wins games. I win games. Can you milk me? Alright, I'm feeling comfortable at the uh the black splash now. And by splash, I mean... You probably don't play the elves now. Oh, yeah, you, you're right. And we got a skull clamp, so it's not even like it's a... Uh, you know, if I never activate it, I'll just kill it and draw two. Kill it. Draw two. <laughs> Why did you say it like that? Why not? I was just curious. I didn't say you couldn't, okay? Why not? I hate you. 
Oh, I really do hate that, man. You know what that's from? Your mom. That's close. It's close. Jace, architect of A of T. Lily. Wall of Ritz. Wall of Ritz. Maelstrom Pulse. Maelstrom Pulse is probably the pick, to be quite honest. Pretty good. I like Liliana a lot, but I don't think this is a Liliana deck. And I also don't like having to have double black by turn three. And I think Maelstrom Pulse is very good in this cube because it kills anything. That's my argument. Doesn't kill lands. Lions. And I imagine one of these two will come back. Now we have Maelstrom Pulse and Beast of the We can kill anything. Anything? I can kill you, Greg. Huh. I have nipples, Greg. Can you kill me? Oh my god, that's so dark. Have yourself a Michael Little Christmas. Are you going to have it or not? No. Wow. What is it? What's it going to be? Oh, an Overgrown Tomb. That's almost perfect. Yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah, that's actually the greatest card we can ever open. Ever. No, ever. I'm not so sure about that. Ever. The best part is if we open like Ancestral, I'm just going to play it off of Sylvan Caryad and Bird of Paradise. And Primeval yeah. Titan. I'll add one island. Phil Money, have a good night, buddy. Tell your wife I said enjoy her coffee with you. Whatever that means. You know what it means. I don't think so, man. What's the hold up today? From now on, all troubles are me. Oh, old hee haw mouth. Slime time. There's a signet. Get him. It is on color. Half. I mean, it's half on color. I think I just like acidic slime better. I always like acidic slime. Hero's Downfall is also not bad. You are correct. Polluted Delta ends up getting just overgrown tomb. Yes. But it gets a swamp. It's just better than a swamp. What do you think? Acidic slime? I kind of like signet here. You like signet? But we already have like caryatid birds, elves, and soul ring. Yeah, but I mean, we really want mana. We have mana. I think we really want things to cast with our mana. Slime time it is then. Yeah, I mean, you sound real upset about it. I mean, I'm just saying what I would pick. You know what? I guarantee you'll get two more rampy cards. I guess they're just going to give us all of the swords that are good all the time. It's pretty good. Yeah. I think it's the only thing that's even reasonable in this pack for us. Image is good, but... I mean, we ain't blue, so I guess we'll just take yeah. second sword. What up, nearly at? Kitchen Finks gives you two creatures to, to draw cards off of. That's true. I know. Do you? Yes. Do you? No. How come they don't have Sword of Dungeons and Dragons in here? Too good. Is it too good? Mm -hmm. Oh, there's old Hermes. Oh, there's look, there's that Sunforge Mystic we were talking about. I'd actually take that. I think that's actually good. Oh, is Recurring Nightmare better? With Grave Titan, Primeval Titan, Acidic Slime, Kitchen Finks. Three numbers a little slow. I agree, it is a little slow. 117 days without power, that's so insane, man. It's ridiculous. God, that makes you just, like, absolutely miserable. That's like an unreal, oh, that's an unreasonable amount of days to go without power. It's almost like you guys are in a U.S. territory or something. 
I guess it's just Stone Forge in this deck, but. God, that's so dumb, dude. How is that even real? How is that real? Like, you can't even... You can't refrigerate your food. Like, you don't have air conditioning. Like, you can't use computers. Like... Ooh. This could be a Genesis Wave deck. I think this could be a Genesis Wave deck. I hate passing a Thrag Test, but... The fun of Genesis Wave is a little bit higher. Oh, Search and the Ulamog came back? I think I it's just like Search. like a mean Gyro. It's probably Search, though. Yeah, I think the other Ulamog is just better than this guy. Uh, Thrag's definitely not wheeling when there's like five cards in the pack. Oh, wow. Kalidus and Wall of Roots both came back. Are you dying? Yes. Is it Wall of Roots or Kalidus? It's got to be Wall of Roots, right? We don't even have that many ways to kill Kalidus guys. isn't that great, yeah. Not... We're also not that heavy black. All right, if, we, if there were enough cards in that pack, maybe we'll see it. That would be hilarious. Working with an Ice Cooler match to get a portable generator to run at night so a bit better. Yeah, I mean, that's like... I mean, we had to do that for a very short period of time after the hurricane, but, like, it was probably, like, a week and a half, you know? Like, 117 days is just unreal. That's, like, a third of a year. Yeah, that's pretty bad. Pilgrim's pretty decent here. Oh, it does help with Stoneforge, Mystic. Yeah. Ink it fixed, technically. I, wonder I don't if think we want another sword, though. I don't think we do. Oh! oh well, I guess we got it. <clears throat> Dang it. <clears throat> I'm sorry, what? I don't think that's what you said. I said bubbly and ring. I'm just saying Fauna Shaman, there's no... Oh, Primal Command coming back is actually pretty good. This is my barbably ring. Show me that power. There ain't no power. It takes so... Why does it take so long to load, man? I don't know. I uh, do not know. Uh, is it ultimate price? Ooh, it's not great. Mm. I just take original Garuk. Oh, yeah, I like original Garuk, especially because we have n not many four drops. Yeah, that seems good. Yeah, that is better than ultimate price. You're right. I mean, our, our, the guy probably, this, this person probably, oh, there's like, there's the good, the good old mug. The good Lamog, if you will. I'll just take that. Do we have the mana for that? Yeah, we do, right? We can Definitely, get there. Yeah. Okay, mana seems pretty easy in this deck. I can I can agree with that. We do need to make a couple cuts here, though. Scavenging use can always go. Scavenging use is always such an easy cut. It seems like a good deck right here. Yeah, we're good. No, nothing, nothing else to see here, boys. Natural order? That's not that great for us. We're not a natural order deck, but I mean, even just getting primeval titan with natural order is still pretty insane. Urborg's pretty good here. Is it? I mean, it fixes our black very easily. I almost like natural order better. It only has like one target. Uh, but it's a primeval titan. Yeah, but we're not getting super busted lands. Lands? Mm-hmm. You're ramping into these three cards. What if you don't draw them? Your likelihood goes up to draw them when you thin your deck of lands thanks to the Primeval Titan. That is true. So you can have both of these and play at the same time, right? Yeah. That's cool. I just think this is better. I don't think we have like two black cards. I don't really want to play an Urborg here. Another one? Oh, is it Lotus Cobra or is it Blooming Marsh? Probably Blooming Marsh. Whatever we fetches. Huh? Go down fetch lands. I mean, this isn't a fetch land, though. Right, so I'm saying it's better than Lotus Cobra. Is it? Yeah. Is it? Yes. Don't you, don't, don't you dare! Is it? 
I'm leaving. Where are you going to go? Nowhere. You got nowhere to go. Take a, take a little nap. A little dirt nap, maybe. Maybe. Scarlet Harlot, what's going on? Our, our another sword. Our another sword. That's a really good sword. They're all good swords, Brent. You could also get Flooded Strand, which does get Savannah. But that's it. It's not great. No, yeah, good luck, buddy. Have uh, have a good night, and uh, I'll see you soon, I'm sure. I hope. <laughs> what did you say? I don't know what you Blue said. is pretty good here. What is? Bluegrass. Blacky Lacky. It's actually not bad. Yeah, all right. Do you like Shriekma better? Maybe. I don't know. It's close. They both kind of do the same thing. That's true. Oh, I really like Fraley's. And we didn't take it last time, and I kind of want to take it this time. It's either that or Harmonize. I don't think it's Harmonize. And it's easy to nab from the Gwave? What does that even mean? <laughs> the G-Wave. Oh, I thought it was like a... From oh, he died, so put him in the Gwave. Yeah, like that kind of thing, you know? <laughs> Well, I think this can, I think we can definitely get away with 16 lands here with the soul ring. Yeah. The question is what do we cut? Probably Liliana. Skull Clan is actually not that good in our deck. What is? Skull Clan. Why it's like keep, two good targets. Why do you keep saying things like this? Just cuz it doesn't die immediately doesn't mean it's not good. Like if you make a 3/3 beast and put a Skull Clan on it, you're going to draw two cards when it dies. Otherwise you win because they can't kill your your 4/2. Life finds a way. <laughs> you know where that's from? It's Jurassic Park. Yeah, boy. <laughs> Looks like the student has become the teacher. I'm just going to take this makeshift mannequin. Put it directly in our sideboard. <laughs> Do not How pass. Did Academy go this late? It might be breeding pool because we saw I saw a flooded strand going around, and if it comes back, ooh. 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 That's a late noble hierarch, dude. Yeah, it's pretty good. This is a Gwave Titan. Ha 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 ha. Look at the flavor text on this. When nature calls, run. Look at the flavor text on this. Death in form and function. I wonder if all these Titans have like one line of flavor text. Guess we'll never know. <laughs> Grave Titan as Butcher. Oh, hey, lady. Oh, I'm going to make my little zombie friends. <laughs> it's a Jerry Lewis Grave Titan. Thank you for explaining the joke. Well, you're young, so you don't know who Jerry Lewis is. So. I know who he is. Who is I he? I met him once. He's my dad. You only met your dad once? Yeah. That's unfortunate. I'm sorry. You're not sorry. How did we get up to 26 cards? Whatever. Jerry Lewis in the news. <laughs> oh, that's fantastic. Frost Titan ain't got no flavor. Do we just cut black? It seems bad when we have Grave Titan and Maelstrom Pulse. I think we can cut Liliana, though. Yeah, I can see that. I think I said that, and then we didn't actually, I didn't take it out, so... One more cut. Hmm. I like Song of Dread answers anything. I mean, we already have Maelstrom Pulse and Beast within, though. True. Like, we have a couple ways to answer anything. I don't think it's survival. Manglehorn when it's good? For a sideboard? What about Sun Titan? That's pretty greedy. You don't, you don't like three Titans? Well, I just don't like double white. Well, it, was, it just went in my pile. We got that natural, or let's take this progenitus. Oh, I was, oh. What were you going to say? I was going to say Thalia, because it's actually pretty good in our deck. We got a bunch of Planeswalkers, though. Oh, that's true. Is the white greedy? Not with our 
fixing. It's fine. Are you greedy? Yes. Actually, is it Nykthos? Could be Nykthos here. I'm gonna yeah, take that might the Nykthos. That that might just play. I might just play that boy. What up, JC? Do you remember that time when JC died for your sins? Justin Timberlake? Yeah. It, he, it was right after he brought Sexy back. Ah. Makes sense. Do you remember that? No. You remember that? That's sad. I remember nothing. All right, here we go. We got to cut one card. What's it gonna be? You are that jam? Uh, I do. I, I mean, we have one, day. two, three, four, five, one mana. Accelerants. Yeah, I think we can actually cut one of these. <laughs> I think elves of deep shadows the worst. Oh, especially if we're not playing that much black anymore. I agree with that. And scoop with Skull Clamp, though? I think you really underestimate Skull Clamp on any creature, think, even if I it doesn't die immediately. If we were, like, being more competitive, I think you actually just leave that card in, and then you cut Genesis Wave. But we're not. We're playing cube. And we want a Genesis Wave for eight, and get all of these, fuck, these planeswalkers. And... I'm just saying, if we're, like, going for the best... I don't think we are. I think around. we're going for cube. We're going for cube, man. Cube man. It's a lot of forests. But we need a lot of forests. I don't think we need like what, 13? 9, 10, 11, 12. 2, 3, 4. 1, 2. 12, 3, 4. This is, this is actually perfect, I think. What? What? You don't like this? So you have what? Four sources of white? Uh, 1, 2. Search for Mars, 3. Noble Hierarchs, four. Birds of Paradise, five. Sylvan Carry, add six. Okay. Seems like a good amount. Primeval Titan, seven. Black, we have one, two, three, four. Search is five. Bird is six. Sylvan Carry, add seven. I just don't think we need 12. Our whole deck is green. We do have Natural Order and... Uh, Progenitus and Fauna Shaman, so we can discard the Progenitus. That is a lot to go right, though. I think I'd rather just have this deck be winning. Like Charlie Sheen. I also don't have a hoof, so it's not as good. Alternatively, we can take out the Grave Titan and put in Sun Titan. And we can take out Maelstrom Pulse and put in Oblivion, Oblivion Ring. Ring and That's then actually just, way better. I like that a lot. And then just go white-green. Yeah, let's do that. You like that? that makes our mana so much better i agree and we can always board into these guys yeah this is a better plan now we have no black cards we just cut the two swamps and add two planes well we should probably also cut the blueing marsh and the overgrown tomb yeah maybe <laughs> also makes our neck those better what does <laughs> Did you not hear me? What makes our Nyctos better? Nothing. Nothing at all. Oh, because you messed up. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I'm like, I don't think that does. We didn't now add we any green cards. Uh, right now we have one, two, three, four, five, four six, seven, eight, yeah, it's probably nine. Good. I don't think you can really count prime time. Well, if you're if you're talking about Sun Titan, it gets both of your I white just like sources. like a little first. more white early because of Stoneforge Mystic. I mean, okay, so, yeah, but, but by turn two, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven cards that produce white. This is how many for us? Like a million? Uh, one. Eleven. Twelve. Okay. Our whole deck is green. What you know about that? Nothing. Oh, man. Keep. Snap, keep. Snape. We need some lands, but... We have four mana in this hand. Is our opponent going to skip... Oh, dang. 
You ain't got to lie, Craig. That's our opponent's name. Oh, that's scary. Here we go. It's a very odd name. What did they just kill us? Well, it's possible. I think putting lands in... Oh, they might have... Oh, they might have a counterspell. I'd rather this get countered than Soul Ring, so. One, two, three, four. We have five mana. And we can play four of it next turn. One, two, three. Four. That's pretty good. Can I can I target their creatures? No. Also, wouldn't they just draw the card then? I don't know. Well, you're not my dad. They have two cards in hand, and like, like they could have just waited till turn two to play Lotus Cobra, so that on turn three they have an extra mana to trigger it. Yeah, I don't know why they did that. I'm trying to work out the logistics here. I got to know when you're planning to move to my house, and if you're willing to share a bunk bed with your son. Corner is asking about moving here as well, and I just don't have enough rooms for you, her, and your son to have their own rooms. Well, I mean, this is real inconvenient. Like, you offered me the, the room, and it uh, seems obvious that my son would be a package deal. Jeez. And uh, it's just, I mean, it feels a little awkward for everybody, I'll be honest. <laughs> I don't know, when I pack everything up and go uh, move across the country to someone's house that I've never met because they invited me, feels like they should at least have a room for me. They only have two cards in hand, which is nice. Unless they go Jace the Mind Sculptor right now. Oh, my poor acoustic son. <laughs> Can you keep it down? They didn't do anything. Why did they tap that bird? What even? What's even happening right now? Did they attack us for zero? No. <laughs> Maybe. Jesus. One, two, three, four, five, six mana. Look how big this wall this this wall is, man. That's a big that's a big wall. Yeah, it is. Go ahead, kill it, I dare you. I'll draw a card. Two no less. You're right. I forgot how skull clamp worked for a second. It's funny because equipping the sword yields two more mana, but equipping the skull clamp yields one less. Oh god, here we go. Okay, that's fine. I care about that not as much as I would have expected to. I mean, we have an ring. Mostly because I get to draw three, two cards. Oh, that's pretty good too, I guess. That also deals with it. So we acidic slime and kill this, and then we equip the skull clamp so that when they trade, uh, we get to draw two. That seems good. Block the lifelink, block the death touch. Draw two cards. Oh. Okay. I believe you. Jump in the line. Kill your worm coil with slime. Okay. I believe you. That was good. That was a good jam. Whatever. Hmm. That's a thick boy. That wall's a thick... Oh. Well, that's unfortunate. But I am glad that you... Uh, we killed your... I guess it's better to make a copy of a acidic slime than it is a worm coil engine. Yeah. Oh, really? Huh. I would have probably gotten rid of the skull clamp. Or even the soul ring. Like, we missed, like, two land drops. Yeah, him killing soul ring would have been really brutal. Actually. This doesn't even matter. Like, they could chum block that thing for days. Oh, this is great. Block you... I want you to look at all the cards I'm drawing. One's going to be a Savannah. So, Bayan. Oh, that's close. That was close. All right, so as long as we play Garrick, we can actually play uh, one of these next turn, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Mm -hmm. Yep, that's pretty good. 
We also have we actually have seven right now, so. They have no cards in hand? This is just great news. Can I target this guy with anything? I mean, Oblivion Ring, I guess. I guess I don't really care. We go block, block. There's nothing we want to blue ring this turn. What? There's nothing we really want to blue ring. Well, the problem is, like, they have three creatures and we have two blockers, so Garrick dies. And I'd rather keep Garrick alive. Gary! See you later, bye! I'm a wall of roots, Greg. Can you root me? Wow, that's too many roots. I have roots, Greg. Can you extract me? <laughs> what? Extract you? Mm -hmm. What does that even mean? You extract the flavors from the root. Maybe you do. Deal. They have one card in hand. This is great news. Here we go. You ready? Are you ready? Yes, I'm ready. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. What is this? Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ula Magula. I think killing these guys is just better than killing lands. They wear they wear equipment, whereas your lands don't, and that'll do. I wonder how many games have been won uh, just by putting Ulamog on the stack. Plenty. Plenty, you think? I didn't see anything too concerning. No, not really. Worm Coil Engine's real frustrating, but... I mean, we have both Fraley's and Acidic Slime to deal with, it, and Beast Within, so, and Oblivion Ring. We have actually a lot of answers, so that's pretty good. Ulamog is sadness on the stack. Your sadness on the stack? Maybe that's true. His hand is not so great. You don't think so? No. You don't like bird into wall? Tempting. I'm going to keep it. They went to six. I value that way too much. When my opponent mulligans, I'm always like, oh, you mulliganed? You can't win. We're going to have to draw some heaters. Our deck, our whole deck is heaters, bro. That's a heater. That is. That's a turn three Fraley's. Suck it. No, thank you. Suck it like the egg sucker you are. How dare you. How dare you? You don't know me. You don't know my life. I know it well. <clears throat> what if you could equip other creatures with Skull Clam? That'd be sweet, right? If you could equip... Oh, their creatures? Ooh! But they would just draw the card. I've changed my mind. We're going... We're going for this... We're going for this bad boy. For the cacao damage? Oh, yeah. That delicious cacao. 90% cacao here. Oh, baby, that's real sad. Wow, Unless that's you wasted that. Though. That was a desperation play if I ever saw one. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. We can oblivion ring sower and just get our bird back, which is kind of good. It's not right. We could play wall of roots and then play Fraley's next turn, but then it's just—it's probably just going to die. Well, we go to five. Make a 1-1. One, one. We can block here. She takes two. I don't want them to have this mana, though. So I'm actually going to do it. I want my bird back, bro. Play actually, playing Wall of Roots is the same as playing as getting Bird of Paradise back, because it still gets us the same mana. So I'm just a dumb dumb. I'm just a dummy, dum 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 dum. I won't argue. I know. 
That's because you don't know how to argue. Do what now? That's a big that's a big fatty. I hope they don't put counters on this. You can just kill with Frailies. This is actually fantastic. We can just kill their virtuous gear hog with the Frailies. That's great. You ain't got a lie, Craig. Such a weird username. Wow, killing that Frailies or killing that that big torrents. Hmm. Wall of Roots does block here, so we can actually go Sword, Wall of Roots. The problem with Frailies is that we have to. she dies if they still have Lotus Cobra out. And if we don't have the Wall out, so I think we're going to just Wall of Roots here. Who would win in a boxing match between LSV and John Finkel? Probably Luis, but I don't know. God, I wish it was I wish it was three damage. Is that greedy? It's a really greedy. It's a really greedy. Alright, so we block here, we take six. Next turn you frailies kill this guy, still have a blocker. Deal another two, draw another card. Deal another four, draw another card. You know what I'm saying? No. Why are you like this? No. It's a fair point. I didn't consider that. Mm -hmm. I apologize. You hear that hunter, dude? He's chomping away. Hunter is chewing his nails. No blocks. They gotta have a counter spell now. I'm now I'm just afraid of the counter spell. Buck, 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 buck. What if they have cryptic command? That's so good, dude. So good. It's pretty good. Dang, where were you? Still pretty good. Pro green is still pretty. It's pretty insane. Resolve. Oh my god. What a time to be alive. What if we accidentally killed our Oblivion Ring? That would be bad. I'd cry. They could change their username to You Ain't Gotta Cry, Craig. What's that from? Is that from... Is that just from Friday? You ain't got to lie, Craig. You ain't got to lie. <laughs> that is a random username. Oh, this game is over, dude. One, two, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, ten. Oh, we can't use this immediately, though. Oh. Do we just sort of body in mind here? Seems pretty good. They're playing blue-green, right? What do you do? What do you do against the, the pro-blue, pro, pro pro-green sword? Well, all right. We have pro your entire deck, I guess. Give me that wolf. Let's see what your graveyard reveals. You doing okay? <laughs> what are you doing? Are you flicking me off? Maybe. What's your pinky doing there? Having a good time. Having a good time. All right, I guess we're good here. I guess I could actually move this. Nick, those next turn will tap for one extra, I guess. Uh, we got one, two, three, four. Yeah, we could net. We could net one. Whoa, there's a Windows feature update. I gotta snooze you though, brah. Is this how is this game not over? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So we could actually Genesis Wave for eight. Yeah, Worm Coil, Bird of Paradise, Fast Bond, and Phantasmal Image are all cards we saw last game. 
We didn't see Manglehorn or Edric or their own acidic slime. And fast bond. Did I say fast bond? You did. Apply directly to the forehead. We win. Head on. Hooray. That game was not even close. Head on. Apply directly to the forehead. Head on. Apply directly to the forehead. Head on. Apply directly to the forehead. That's a that's an old meme. Playing against AOA. You know what I'm saying? No. Do you not? This is a sneep. This is a this is a snap sneep. That's a snap snap keep. If you know what I'm saying. Can we top deck a soul ring? That would be cool. Wow. Oh. That was interesting. Our opponent just F6 their turn. I'm taking care of a friend's tortoise and this, this is so loud. That, that's because their shell is really loud when it hits other things. I didn't know that. Well, you can hear it when, when Lady moves around. It's not that loud. It's real loud when her shell is like banging against the glass. Is it Wall of Roots here? Actually, yeah. it might be Stoneforge, because next turn we can go Wall of Roots and then activate Stoneforge with the Wall of Roots mana. Yeah. I like getting Sword better. Which one? I see a blue. It's a gamble whether we want to get a red or a green. Probably a red, right? Green finishes the game faster. You're right. But I feel like red is more likely to be a color we're playing against. Yeah, probably. I'm going to go with red. Because if they have just a bunch of green dudes, I don't think we care about that. If they have burn spells, we do care about that. Ooh. Oh, this is interesting. Yeah, it's got to be this guy. One, two, three, four. Next time we can play Acidic Slime. That's pretty good. Uh, you cannot get soul, soul Ring because it is not an equipment. Stoneforge Mystic is not a tutor for artifacts. It is a tutor for equipment specifically. Oh, God, every time. Hey, that's pretty good. One, two, three, four. So we can attempt to equip and then just play Kitchen Finks if... Uh, yeah, but it doesn't work out. Yeah. Fatal push. Oh my god, is it going to work out though? Hmm? Oh! Nice. That's crazy. Oh, I might just want to do that instead. One, two, three, four, five. Actually, we're going to prime time next turn anyway. I'd rather have a creature that's resilient to... Let's see what kind of counterspell they drew. No counterspell, no removal. I don't know what's going on. What are they playing right now? A losing deck. Oh, Thirst for Knowledge. I gotcha. Yes, their combo, maybe? No, they're probably just going to reanimate something. So I guess yes. Well, if it's an artifact, we can deal with it. Little future soup mofo keeps sighing. How? Why? I didn't know tortoises thought about deep emo things. Oh, two islands hit the bin. Hmm. What is going on here? Oh. There's a red. Did it. Well, you chose correctly. All right, we're getting, uh, getting colorful now. So only three. Yeah, it just taps for the same amount. We could have, we could if we play birds though, it taps for one more. Yes. So we could actually play birds and then activate it. Play birds and we have one to activate for four, five, six, and then we can play primeval titan off of that. Seems good. That does seem good. You're right. 
I'm just gonna draw a card instead, though. Well, I guess not instead. In addition to. Uh oh. Did it say? Oh, did it, did it switch? Oh, it did. Here we go. Hero's downfall. Okay. That's just fine. They're at 12 already? Man, they're basically dead. Alright, let's try this. Bird. Add some green. And old PT. Let me give me let me get them lands. We'll get a savanna and a forest. I guess we're good. I, I, I always sometimes I uh I wait for magic to be like Where's the green button to tell me my turn is done? Because I can't do anything else. That doesn't exist though. You know, like Hearthstone where it turns green when you're when your turn's done and you can't do anything else. It's too much technology to ask for. It is, it's a lot. One, two, three, four, five. They have six mana. Six mana is scary. Oh, interesting. I can't kill you. Oh, that's unfortunate. Let's do that for a lot. One, two, three, four. So we have four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. I'm okay with that. <laughs> God, I hope they don't have, like, Mana Leak. It's the most rewarding Mana Leak ever. Oh my god, come on. Ugh. That's disgusting. Actually worse. Why did he have Spell Pierce? so vomity. We should actually play Fraley's killed this and then play the Sig Slime killed this so they couldn't actually pay for Hostage Taker. Now they're just going to Windmill Slam Primeval Titan and it's going to be very hard to win. I guess we can actually just put Sword on Birds. Yeah, that was pretty greedy. Spell Pierce. No blocks. That's not what we're looking for. Let's see what happens, I guess. Uh, I guess we're going to shoot your face because we have no way to kill a primal titan. <clears throat> Not terrible. Pretty sure it's got to be acidic slime here. Does have death touch. You got death touch. How much can we make actually? One, two, seven, <clears throat> eight, nine. That ain't gonna do it. We could put a sword on this bad boy, though. It's probably worth it. Oh, yeah, it's definitely worth it. Because then Garrick survives when they attack.
Oh, God, I wish we did the last turn differently. We could have played Freilies first. It would have resolved because they couldn't spell pierce it. Kill their Demir Signet, play Acidic Slime, kill their land. They would have four lands instead of seven right now. And then, like, their odds of playing Primeval Titan are so low. <laughs> Dread War on the Bird. That's great. Because they probably aren't attacking. Well, they can't attack with... If they attack with Primeval Titan, they can't block Acidic Slime. And they attack with Hostage Shaker, we just block it, so... Well, that's interesting. Can we overrun them? I was... That'll do. That'll do. So, eight... Oh, it doesn't matter because the trigger, like, it kills them, right? So... Yeah. See you later. Bye. Ulamog on the stack. Let's see if it can it, if it's if it's bugs so that you have to concede. Yeah, I guess Ulamog just uh, once Ulamog's on the stack, the game just bugs out and your opponent just loses. It's really weird. Hmm. I think we're still good. Yeah, I think we're still good too. Like none of these are like jumping out at me. This deck is great so far. I think if we didn't mess up, this game wouldn't have even been close. But how <coughs> cool would it have been if Genesis Wave resolved? Oh, it would have been really cool. That's why we did it. Because that's what you want to do in the cube. You want to, you want to do cool things. And you were like, let's cut the Genesis wave. And I was just like, no, we're not doing that. And then I had to ban you from the from the porch. From the porch? This hand is terrible. It's not good. This is not... Don't really want that. No, we don't. And our opponent skipped their first land last game, too. That's a good... That was a good draw. Oh, we could have brought in the blowback sword. That I don't think been... that's better than the other swords, though. Like, we saw two pieces of removal. We saw Heroes Downfall and Dreadbore, and Dreadbore's already good against the pro-red sword. Or, you know, not good against it. And I think the other sword, the body and mind, is just better. So, I mean... I don't know. It's, all swords are good, but I just think the two we have are the better swords. Look at these lands. Interesting. I mean, I'll just O-ring that if I need to, but... You Does that name? card work? It's a Pithing Needle, but you get to look at their hand first. So it costs one more mana. So you get to be like, oh, you actually... Now I know the cards you have, so I don't just guess wildly. Which is nice. You got the touch. Apparently they got a difficult decision here. I'm just hoping this oracle comes I mean, there's down. There's really only one choice. It's Ugin. Right. <laughs> it's, I mean, they could be like, well, that's not scary right now, so I'm just going to name Garrick in case they draw it. Or they could name, like, one of the swords. Yeah, they could name cards that are not in your hand, so they could name anything, but... I don't know if that's worth it. Did you have the touch? You mean, do I have the power? <laughs> that is what I meant, yeah. I'm glad you, uh... Glad you picked up on that. Sylvan carry added. But it says activated can't be activated unless they're mana abilities. Why would you... Well... <laughs> that's awkward. That's real acoustic. Like, it's right on the card. 
not only is it right on the card, we don't even have Sylvan Carry added. Like, what are the odds of us drawing that random card? I don't know. Uh, that's probably not resolving, but... Really? I didn't, we didn't see any counter spells. Look at this. <clears throat> that was good. I got one free land off it, so even if they kill it. Wow, this is great because I was worried I'd have to use Oblivion Ring to activate an Ugin. But instead they're like Sylvan Carry added, and I'm just like... Alright, sure. I'm sure mine's annoying. Yeah. I don't care about that. I really actually don't even care about that. Oh, oh no! Doesn't even matter. It doesn't even work the way you want it to work. I hope this game is long enough that we can activate that to show him how wrong he is. I, that's always, I always love doing that. I'm like, hey, look. I don't want to actually attack because they can block with Creeping Tarpet. I don't think they would. Actually, maybe they I would. think that's a fine trade for us. We could also Beast within their Creeping Tarpet. But. So it looks like he got his parents to fall in love. <laughs> Congrats on not being invisible anymore, man. I'm glad you reset the time the timeline. Yeah, it was tough. It looked like it was rough for you, buddy. It was real touch and go. Land on top. Come on. Two lands on top. Oh my god. Oh my god. It's so good, dude. Yeah, it seems good. You have a, have yourself a merry little titan. And if they have hostage shaker, we also have beast within and oblivion ring, so whatever, dude. Uh, and one, two, three, four. I like a Nyctos in it. I actually we'll go to planes. Because if they want to kill our our planes, like whatever, keep the savannah around, I guess. Now we have a noble hierarch instead of a soul ring on top, so just a different one mana accelerator. This one dies to Skull Clamp, though, which is convenient. Dreadbore on PT. You know I have Ugin in hand, though. Intriguing. You left up Spell Pierce. Six, seven, eight, nine. Ten. Eleven. Okay, now we can do it. Um, we can also play both of these first. And then Nykthos, yeah. Because that would give us four with Nykthos. So these mana would be taken, and then we'd tap two for Nykthos. That would give us four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, no, we don't want to do that. Eight, nine, ten, eleven. Let's play again. Well, we can definitely play one. But this actually takes the mana away. Right? Yeah, we can play one because we had 11. So... We don't actually need to activate that at this point. 5, 6, 7, 8... See you later. <laughs> I knew they'd draw that Sylvan carry added. Autocorrect turned Ugin into Sylvan carry added. Because <laughs> I was thinking, I'm like, what if they just were close to Sylvan or close to Ugin and they misclick? But I'm like, those are not even close. And then I was like, maybe they meant Primeval Titan, but that doesn't work on multiple levels. So, I actually have no idea. I'm confused. Well, that's unfortunate. What? So I get to keep the Oracle of Moldiah? Huh. I'm really confused about what's happening. I'm going to be honest with you. What 
this is really strange. Please tap it for mana before you win. Just to just to give him a, just to leave a message. All right, taking three. I guess we'll just play Sun Titan and get back. Oh, I'll use it right now. <clears throat> get a planes back, I guess. Two to your face. Next time we can Two ultimate do good. That is what I meant. That is correct. You're you're you you're too smart for me. Too smart for me. What up, Sarah? We win. All right. Well, these matches have not been close. Not particularly. You're a particularly. Wow. Whew. I'm surprisingly tired right now. I slept terribly last night. So, I was doing that desk. That. I was doing that desk and I fell asleep on the bed at like 12.50. And then I woke up at like 3 a.m. And I was like, oh, I'm not done. I wanted to do more work. So I went and did more work. And then I was literally up until like 11 a.m. Just eight hours straight. And then I fell asleep again and woke up at four. So I got five more hours then. Seems like a very, uh, very healthy sleep. Channel. It's not. It's not. Actually, I got up at three. And uh, the, the plumber that was taking care of some issues got here at four. Oh, yes. Snape. Well, I guess we'll find out if our opponent is, uh, our opponent's 2-0 as well, so. Here we go. Here comes Yawn, here comes Yawn Fest. Yawn Fest 2017. Get your tickets now. I'm not selling anything. You got a big deal. You're not selling anything? No. Yeah, I'll work no Frank makes Frank something. I'll work nope. Ooh. That's aggressive. That is indeed aggressive. I like to be I like to be aggressive as well. He's taking one here. Man, he's basically dead. What if they reveal like ten artifacts and they untap it? Oh my god. Guess they could do that. Watch their hand is, uh, actually, well, we only have four cards right now. Let's see what they reveal. Here comes the Mind Slaver. You ready? They always have Mind Slaver. Zorius, Signet, and Sensei's top. Gideon. Okay. That's not actually that scary. Nah. Are you going to play Signet, or do you want to just keep it in your hand? <laughs> Okay, top. Any you top now? Sure. Look at my baby. So we can go one, two, three, search for a planes, and then play wall of roots. Like their hand is Zori sitting at one of their card. She's not very or you can play Pelucranos and then equip Fire and Ice next turn. I like that Sounds better. Good. Or we can play Pelucranos and activate next turn and just kill some of their nerds. So deal. F we have we need five mana to kill this guy and this guy. That seems fine. I'll do that. And you take another point from this. Good lord, you basically did. If you want to attack with that Gideon, I will, uh, I'll take it. I'll be honest with you. Uh-oh. 
We'll get rid of that because I assume you're going to... Oh, a tangle wire. That's annoying. Yeah. That's actually real annoying. Yep. <laughs> wow. Well, your hand is uh, pretty impressive, so... I said I'd take five. I'll take five. And we have to deal with Tangawar first? That's pretty sad. Ugh. We could eat something, but... Yeah, that's pretty terrible. So we take five, six, seven, eight next turn, and then we might be dead. They clearly take a ta take a, take a can counter off, and they play. They tap top, metal worker, tangle wire. That's my guess. Or planes. I guess they could just tap a planes. Nope, metal worker. Oh, he's trying to. Yep, there you go. <laughs> Tangler. It's port. That's interesting. Why wouldn't you tap your top? Don't know. Why wouldn't you tap these in response to top? Instead, you use the mana that you had. I'm very confused. So your hand is Zoria Signet. So we go seven here. Oh, yours goes first. Okay. Um, we're just gonna actually kill these guys. Oh, we need we need nine to deal four. So I guess we get to kill one. I guess we get to kill the knight ally. How many do we have to tap? We have to have three things. So we could actually tap one, two, three. And then get rid of Gideon. Actually, let's do that instead. One, two. Don't tap the white. No, I'm getting a planes with search. Oh, wait, does it not come down this turn? Oh, it doesn't come down this turn, does it? Yeah, so don't do that. Well, it doesn't matter. Like, um, we have to, though. Why don't we just tap Polychronos and two force? Do we just O-ring his Gideon? Yeah, we have to. Wish we had another color, because then we can actually play Wall of Roots. I guess we just deal with it. Yep, that's pretty good, I guess. Alright. Well, eventually, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven... I mean, if they attack with both and we get to actually sort of fire and ice, that's actually very good. Monsters will kill the worker, but I'm not even worried about the worker right now. Like, they have one artifact in hand, and uh, doesn't really, it's not really a threat to us right now, so. Are they just taking a million from this every turn? <laughs> I don't know why they're not tapping the top. Oh, they couldn't have floated the mana. Never mind. That was me being dumb. I was like, why don't they just float the mana and then tap the... If they, they have to tap untap things, so. Yeah, Tangle would be useful for this. 
only sure. tap anything or just untap stuff. Oh, Caracas is pretty annoying. <laughs> yeah, it's real annoying. Yep, that's amazing. Can we tap a blue ring? No. Dang. Dang is right. Uh, one, two. We're going to go to planes in case they want to tap down. Actually, no, we have to get a forest. Because we don't have any white cards, but if they tap down one of our green sources, we won't have a second green source. So, sure. I should play sword here. Yeah, seems good. <clears throat> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight mana. We're real close to Ulamog here. And we know they still have Azorius Signet in hand. Well, because top doesn't let you get rid of it. Oh, they actually, their hand is Signet top, right? <laughs> Once they draw their card. Sure. Can't even, can't bounce my wall of roots. All right, top is gone. Top is not gone anymore. Oh, we can tap Sword of Fire and Ice. That's great. All right. Top on top. Wasteland. <coughs> Nothing you Wasteland matters at this point. N neither of these are doing us anything. So we need to have a Zori Signet and one other card. I doubt it's very good. Uh, you can't tap the O-Ring because it doesn't let you tap enchantments. It's only artifacts, creatures, or lands. Reason being, uh, Magic doesn't have enchantments that actually tap to do things. So they're trying to limit the interactions you have with cards. Sure. Can I do anything in response? No. That's very good. Boom, 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 boom. Seems good. Just gonna play all the things. So one, two, three, four, five, six. We have seven mana, and presuming they're gonna deal with one of it each turn. So we have six mana right now. It's not great, but Kitchen Finks with a sword on it's pretty good. Plus, they're just drawing top every turn, so. Maybe they just die in 15 turns. Maybe. Maybe. There's top again. See, now they lock themselves into this. It's like the brainstorm lock, but it's top lock because you're just drawing top and having to top and then put top back on top every turn. Yep. <laughs> Which is not only tedious, but it's just very annoying as well. Oh, here we go. Real two artifacts, one of them being Worm Coil. Play Worm Coil. Please no. Interesting. Can we kill that with Pelucranos? Let's. They're gonna make it a two-two. So we need three. <clears throat> no, we need one, two, three, four, five. We need nine mana. No, that's not gonna happen. I guess. Plus, you just respond to the monsters with the Krakus, right? Yes. <laughs> sure. Well, that's a little scary, but we do have a couple turns. Like next turn, they can make it. They can make it a two-two at the end of our turn. Then they can make it a four-four. But it can't be blocked by this guy. If we have a way to get rid of this, we can charge right past. We have no cards in here. What is this? What are you doing right now? You can't just untap this whenever you want. <laughs> that's only to yeah, interrupt, key, buddy. Yeah. Okay, that's pretty hilarious. Uh, I meant 
activate figure of destiny. <laughs> that's what I meant. Well, that's cool. Now they can't Rashad import us. And if they do, then they don't get to keep Krakus. So that's cool. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Genesis three for four. It's not super great. But maybe it's just the best play. Hmm. You put lands into play too, right? Yes. That's interesting. Permanence. I mean, they're 100% blocking here. I mean, I want to hit lands is the thing. I like hitting lands a lot. Then Genesis Wave. Oh, what up, K-Fur? Then what? Then Genesis Wave? And I'm also afraid, like, if we go to combat, then they... Um, then they tap something down. So we have one less mana. How are they tapping something down in combat? We're shot and board. Oh, okay. Yeah, I think this is the best play. Four perms. Stone Forge and Sword of Body Mind is not terrible. Two, two, two Titans. No lands, though. Oh, we don't actually... We Yeah, we got Sword and we have all the things. That's sad. Yeah, that wasn't great. Yep. Why couldn't we hit at least one land there? What up, I flooped the pig? Oh, look. A top again. <laughs> it just locks down two of your mana every turn while you're, like, taking... A damage from Mana Vault, which is kind of nice. Yep, there it goes again. You're basically paying two mana every turn to uh, look at the top three cards and draw one. I mean, actually, being able to use a mana from Wall of Roots and equip Skull Clamp to it, and then it dies, is pretty good. It's not bad. It's uh, not bad. So if you attack here, we'll block. Otherwise, I think we just take two. Well, we'd actually take four, because I'm sure they'd pump it. One, two, three, four, five. They have six white, which is a little scary. We kind of have to draw an answer here. To a 8-8 flying first striker. Oh, that's a very good card. That is a good one. Why don't you tap Metal Worker to keep your Caracas slash Rashad and Port up? 1, 2, 3, 5, 6, 7, 8, 7. Uh, now I'm just taking 2. Here's going to be a land. Ready? Maybe. Ugin would be sweet. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I mean, it wouldn't be sweet because we have to draw another land, but... Hmm... I don't actually know what we can draw here that would be any good. I don't think that's it. Uh, 
Acidic Slime wouldn't be bad, but we still die to Figure of Destiny. Like, we're dying to Figure of Destiny next turn. Oh, no, no, we're not, because no, they didn't make didn't it a 4-4. Yeah. You're right. Oh, well, that changes everything. This guy really takes a long time to consider. Yeah, I don't know what's going equipment. on. You're, tap you're literally tapped out with no cards in hand. I must consider... This is a real, it's a real ordeal here. Whoo! I am definitely live, my friend. All right, let's see what we get. That'll do, pig. It's a good one. That'll do. So we're going to need one, two, three. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven mana. So we're going to want one, two, three, four, five, six, seven to equip. Can we... Do we have enough mana for that one, two, three? We could be so then their Caracas and just play Pelucranos. But then we still don't have an answer to this guy's problem. Well, we just fight it. Well, we can't. They can make it a 4-4 next turn, and then we need 9, 4, 5, 6, 7, and then we're like 2 oh, mana shy. All right. I think it's actually Noble Hierarch here. Because that lets this guy survive in combat. And we need all the mana we can get. And if you want to trade here, that's totally fine. Because, actually, you're probably just going to block a Metalworker, right? If they don't block their figure dies. Oh, the double block. I Yeah, I'll kill both of these. I get a Kitchen Finks and I gain two? That's great news. And you have nothing on board and you'll just have Figure of Destiny, which I can just kill? <gasps> Heavy breathing... And this guy comes back. I'm going to put sword on you. Oh, we're in the combat damage step still. Like you do. Yeah, that's pretty good. Oh, I, could, could, I didn't equip Skull Clamp because I'm an amateur. <clears throat> if, they play, if they spend five to a batter skull on... Uh, Figure of Destiny. Like, we know your card is top, right? Yep. Sure. Like you do. Yeah, that Beast Within is fantastic. Now we don't have to worry about Figure of Destiny. And this guy has pro red, so, like, I'm just going to walk right past you. Oh, God. This is brutal. Even if we make it a Beast, we get pro green, so... Whatever. Yeah. <coughs> also, they look very heavy white, so this might be a light and shadow matchup. Sure. You got it. What are you going to draw? You got two mana. Oh, you just drew a land? That's interesting. That was the most exciting of your three cards? Oh my god, please attack. That'd be hilarious. I would laugh. Oh, dang it. He thought about it. He did. He did get He's like, hmm. This is going to be a good one. Sure, tap my Savannah. You got it. <laughs> Ain't nobody got time for that. Take nine, make a wolf, draw a card, mill you for ten. Hmm. 
going to put you over here. And we'll keep up hierarchy in these two for the beast within. Oh, something awesome happened. Unseen Spectre with the nine month sub. Thank you so much, buddy. What are we naming this Sultai baby? Oh, man. Because nine months. I like it. This is where they're like, hey, 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 I can make my figure of Destiny A 6 6. <laughs> look at them. Look, look, I can't do it fast enough. You ready? We know your card's a top, so like, <laughs> oh man, they were so, they're like, we just win the game. Nah, B. What? Where'd your top go? Maybe you just left it on top. Oh, we milled it. We milled it away because oh, of yeah. the, uh, maybe he left it where? On top. Nice. So you're dead, right? Yeah, he did. So we can actually kill this. What did you get? We milled a sword of body and mind and a sword of feast and famine, and they didn't get any swords with their with their guy. Five, six, seven, eight, nine mana. So we do have the nine for Pelucranos. We only need seven, though, right? Four and we three. We need to kill the white creature. That's yeah, what matters. Yeah, right. And then we just equip the... Uh... Yep, all right. Then we just equip the, the sword to whoever. All right, that was good. So we saw double equipment there. Yep. Sword of Light and Shadow is definitely coming in. Which is better than what? Are they just mono-white with... Yeah. Artifacts? Interesting. It's probably better than... Uh... I feel like Body and Mind's better than Fire and Ice. Well, Fire and Ice does block also... Uh... Figure. Yeah. So it's somewhat relevant. Yeah. Somewhat. I wonder if Primal Command's any good. Meh. Scavenging News didn't seem very useful. I think we're fine. They have a ton of artifacts. I wish we had more ways to kill artifacts, but... We do have Acidic Slime and Fraley's and Beast Within and Oily Ring. We have actually a bunch of things, so it's whatever. Is this hand any good? A little slow, but... Does it have a Beast Within in it? I think it's okay. A Beast Within in it? Yeah. That's too many ins. You're too many ends. Explain to me what that means. Oh, Kithian, look how aggressive they got. It's pretty aggro. We haven't sauntering or oh we did we did we had a sauntering or fellas last night, didn't we? Yeah. Wow, top again. Here we go. You got it. What a good draw that was. Hmm. Hmm. I don't think it's worth no. it. I should have pumped up the student to tone earlier. Not sure if you had the beast within then. <clears throat> um... We did have the beast then. I think we, I think there was a turn where they waited, so it let us develop our board a little bit more. But it had they like, I think if they did, if they pumped up figure every opportunity they got to to like kill us as fast as they could, I think they probably would have won. Oh, oh, that's scary. Yeah, it's pretty good. Oh, oh, I'm, I'm not comfortable with that at all. Well, that's awkward. Hmm. Looks like we know where beast with any. Just spiked the land I needed there, they said. Yeah, this is gross. Actually, this is actually pretty good because they don't get the they don't get the mana mana vault. Um 
They only have two cards in hand. So we actually beast within the, the sword when they attack with Kithian, which makes Kithian a 2-1, and we can block it. Oh, yeah. That's true. Which is actually very good. I think we're actually fine here. I mean, it sucks they milled our Sun Titan, our Sword, our Olamog, but... Gotta mill something, I guess. Speaking of Beast Within... Does he have it? Who knows? Who knows? This feels like a beast with him. Who knows, man? You could, just, you, you could never attack again. That's cool. Oh, wow. Hmm. Metalworker. Time to get rid of the sword here so we can actually uh, do something. Yeah. Like, this card's too dangerous to leave uncontested, so. Oh, that was a good draw. Actually, is it Garrick? Untap two lands, play Kitchen Finks off of this? Yeah, that seems good. And then we get a free block next turn? Yeah, let's do that. Yeah, Garrick's at four, so two creatures have to connect. Uh, actually, no. Even if two creatures do connect, it wouldn't matter. Yeah, so we can, like, block here, block Kithian. Um, they make Kithian indestructible, so it doesn't really matter. But it's better than blocking the wolf, because they're both going to be two damage, so I might as well make them use their mana. You don't have that anymore. Okay, real top to play Gideon. Of course. Make an emblem. I don't think that does much. We block 3-3. Three, three. We block here. Kithian would flip, which isn't... Actually, we could just kill Kithian. Yeah, we'd kill Kithian and block here. So I don't think it's emblem. Man, I wish up my my kingdom for a flying creature, dude. <laughs> I just want to I just want to come over your head with a sword of fire and ice. And we know Oblivion Ring is in the graveyard, so that's pretty rough. Goodbye, horses. I'm flying over you. So another hand is top and one other card. Tell me we turn black green next game? What does that mean? Like sideboard into black green. Well, what's the difference though? Like we're just trading Oblivion Ring for Maelstrom Pulse, which is And Sun Titan for Grave Titan, basically. Yeah. But we also lose Stoneforge Mystic if we do that. Both at Garrick, huh? I think Garrick can take two and we can just not lose our wall of roots. Yeah. Actually. Yeah, that's actually fine. Gar can go too. This is an interesting play because now we can actually equip Kitchen Finks, attack with it, and it forces you to block with Kithian or lose your Gideon. Yep. Intriguing. Oh, you got a knight. Never mind. I forgot about that guy. Sad. land I guess I get to eat a guy I'm 
Let's see if we can kill a Gideon. Doubt it. So if they attack with the... They got a block. So it leaves them with three guys and a Gideon if they attack with... They have to attack with everything. Wait, what? Okay. Oh, they're going to bounce it with Caracas? Oh, wow, that's weird. That's still a dude off the board. Like, that's still a win for me. <coughs> yeah, we're doing great now. Oh, man, this is interesting. I should really... It's an interesting choice. This doesn't seem like it does much. Like, I would have much rather attacked with Gideon and two other guys and made him a Planeswalker. All right, so we have that atop and one other card. Like, we know we have so much information right now. All right, so you're not attacking with these guys. You got two attackers. Three if you include the Gideon, so Garrick is probably going to live here. We also have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We have nine mana if we untap with everything. One of them lets us draw two cards. Sure. And top. All right, no cards in hand. Good to know. It's a lot of mana. You're right. What if we get an Ugin? We can negative four wipe all the boards. That would be good. I guess they get to keep a metal worker, but we get to keep skull clamp and sword. What's it gonna be? We just make an emblem here. I mean we know all your secrets. Interesting. Not what I would have expected. Zoom in on the wolf art, please. Um, there you go. Come on, Garrick. Eh, we'll just draw two. <laughs> it's your boy. Hmm. Huh. Well, we are out of targets, unfortunately. You're right. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six. You're going to tap a land. Oh! One, two, three, four, five. Is this a non basic? No, it's just land. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight. Genesis three for five seems good. Yeah. Because five is the sweet spot where we have all our planeswalkers and our acidic slime. Or we have Oracle land. Land. And a soul ring on top. Hmm. Let's just attack your face. Because even if this guy dies, you lose your your Gideon. Or even if they, even if you don't block rather. These top activations are so strange to me. Really running out of time, too. Yeah, they have four minutes toward 10, and they have to win another game after this. That seems okay. And we're at 18, so we're not really in any danger of dying. You just block and bounce again? I can see that. Oh, 
it's very funny because like our opponent has four minutes and of course they have top it all makes sense right they banned top and legacy right uh, i think so that was the ban right in the miracle deck i think so and same as same as last time sure <coughs> all right i mean garrick's probably gonna die here it is what it is but maybe we've got some lands on top four five six seven we have eight mana here nine with the soul ring mm -hmm. sure enjoy your little planes did that shuffle their top no they probably drew the top maybe what's even happening right now no, i don't know they shovel it away they had to they drew a card and then they played knight okay cool yeah that's they have no cards in hand then got it three and a half minutes to win two games all right so i guess we win this draft probably uh that's my guess he's really taking a sweet time too right like yeah you're not like actually like if he's playing fast maybe but this is like let me take literal minute to figure out if i'm gonna activate big gideon yep that's pretty standard oh what at me at me and i get it okay well i'm gonna draw two because that's cool i don't care about this beast as much as i care about drawing two cards acidic slime seems good land on top that is a land How much mana is this? One, two, three, four. So this is four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So we have eight extra mana, so seven mana in terms of Flutron, so we could deal three damage. So we can kill figure. I guess they're gonna activate selfless spirit though. I don't think I even care about that though. I don't know what to do. Probably just kill Caracas. Yeah. Well, I guess we're equipping. I guess we're attacking with kitchen things. Uh, attack your Gideon. Sure. I think they have died. No. <laughs> womp, womp, womp. Sure. Man, drawing cards is where it's at. It's pretty good. One, two, three, four, five, six. We actually could have uh, netted three mana, so we could have actually re-equipped the sword, but then our kitchen mix would have died, so. Oh, we could have actually clamped Noble Hierarch to draw Garrick. Yeah, that's a good point. That is definitely an option. A lot of things going, a lot of things going on here. Oh, they just made an emblem? I don't think this is going to win you the game, though. So we take nine? Okay. I believe you. Sure. Kithian flips.
Gideon Battleforged is one target creature. This attacks Gideon Battleforged if able. All right, that's. But then does does it kill it? It does. And then don't we kill your other Gideon? Yep. Huh. Messed up there. Oh, actually, can we just? Well, this is annoying. Oh, actually, what we can do is we can kill, we can attack Gideon Battleforged, attack their face, and then just redirect. Yeah. Well, we're gonna we're, no, we're gonna shoot we're gonna shoot the spirit, and then we're gonna activate Pelucranus to kill the other creatures. Oh, they didn't even indestructible them. Okay. So what is this? How much is this? six damage? Mm-hmm. So we need, what, 13? I think we actually have that. How much does this make? 5, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. <clears throat> so this costs 3, so we can actually do this. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Frailies. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. I think I miscounted. I miscounted by one. I don't actually think it matters that much. Just play all the things, I guess. Um, what did I how did I mess up here? One, two, three, four, five. Garrick, make a dude. Yeah, this this is probably enough to turn the tide and then we can activate <clears throat> Polychronos for like a million one two three four five six seven eight nine ten so nine so we can deal eight or four four and four and four. Oh, all right that's the end well all right thank you guys for watching and i'll see you next time